November the 26th, I believe, or 27th, and uh, just wanted to take a look at, we always show a few of the flowers, this fuchsia, I couldn't resist sharing this beautiful fuchsia here that's still blooming away and uh, will probably bloom right into early December. Um, so you can see why we chose this place for the monastery or why God chose it for us, I do believe. And uh, this is uh, one of the pleasures of living here is the, the blooms and a couple of snapdragons that are still going. The snapdragons are all volunteers. They're biennials and some of them bloom every year. They sort of by alternation. We always have snaps blooming here. These peach colored ones are whatever the color is, and a couple of bright yellow ones still giving us a little joy. And I don't know if you can see the periwinkle that's blooming down there. There's one or two blooms left on the periwinkle at this time. It won't be long before these Christmas roses will start to bloom. They uh, will give us some flowers at the end of December and uh, all throughout January they'll be blooming away. A little bit of tapas de neige still blooming here. Uh, so it's all in all, November isn't quite so bad. Winter pansies are blooming. Some things are just sort of giving up uh, right now because of the first frost. A very light frost. Didn't, uh, didn't even leave white on the cars at all. But here you see this snapdragon still blooming in some of the uh, petunias. And, of course, the tapis de neige is uh, still chugging away, and a few other things. Um, these uh, calendulas are really still quite bright and beautiful, giving us a nice color to usher us into winter. So, and, as you can see, the hydrangeas still have their color, although the leaves are pretty well gone. The hydrangeas, if they're picked while they still have their color, they hold it all winter as dried flowers and make good decoration for the icons. Um, and already you see a little, few little shoots on the uh, creeping hydrangea preparing itself for spring already. Although this is inside on the sun porch, still have one lovely rose just opening up, and uh, that's quite a quite a delight. It'll be a joy in the spring, in the summertime when the whole rose bush starts to bloom.